My name is Manuel Gremes. I'm working for Fujitsu since 15 years. I'm the responsible business developer for Central Europe for the workstation product lineup. Today we are talking about the brand new Celsius C740, the success of the Celsius C620, the one new rack workstation of Fujitsu. Now we have the possibility to implement full high-end NVIDIA Quadro graphics or a high-end NVIDIA Grid graphics for virtualizations. It can be used for the remote CAD one-to-one -one remote access with Teradigi card and a high-end Quadro card. And the other way is for the remote desktop 3D graphics virtualization because uh, it can implement a high-end NVIDIA grid card and a Xeon E5 with more cores and more memory now. For the one-to-one -one scenario, it's, it's only uh, needed a uh, Windows Client OS installed and your CAD or your, 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 your CAE application is just installed on the, on the Windows Client OS. What you need is a high-end graphic graphics card in combination with the Teradigi card. That's it. The software stack you need for the graphics virtualization is that you need a hypervisor installed on the SATA DOM or a ESX from VMware and for example a Xen desktop. For multiple users scenario, I have to configure the workstation uh, with the NVIDIA high-end grid card, for example the uh, K2, and uh, from CPU point of view with a, a CPU with more cores per CPU and more memory. Now we look inside the Celsius C740. I want to show you the differences between the new Celsius C740 and the old uh, C620. If we look on the CPU, uh, we see that we can implement um, uh, Xeon E5 with uh, 4 to 18 cores. The old C620 only with Xeon E3 was only up to 4 cores. We have 8 memory modules now. One memory module can uh, have up to 32 gigabytes. So now we can implement uh, up to 256 gigabytes of memory. This is really perfect uh, combination with uh, more CPU cores and more main memory for uh, graphics virtualization. In the back of the system, uh, we changed the slot from only low profile to full high. This means we can uh, assemble uh, Teradigi cards, SAS controllers, 10 gigabit LAN cards, or a little graphic uh, graphics card if you want. And now we implemented uh, a full uh, featured IPMI uh, chipset uh, with the option of um, uh, remote storage and remote graphics. Also new technology here. I want to show you the SATA DOM module, which is uh, made for uh, installing, for example, a hypervisor like Zen Server, Hyper-V or ESX. Uh, also here, uh, the uh, MSATA module, PCI Express MSATA module for installing, uh, for example, uh, operating system. So the system is completely, completely bootable without any hard disks. Here uh, shown uh, the micro SD card slot for the embedded lifecycle management. That means uh, that you can configure the system to download the drivers automatically to the micro SD card. Customer ask for a hot plug power supply here with 800 watts. The C620 had only 500 watts. So we push it in, plug and it's in. The graphics cards are the most important thing in a graphics workstation. Here you see with the, in this example, it's a K5200 from NVIDIA. It can be also a NVIDIA grid card for doing the virtualization in combination with a CPU with a lot of cores and more memory. What's really new is we have a card here, a riser card with two PCI Express by 16 slots. This is necessary for implementing, for example, 2K2200 or 2K1400 for doing the virtualization with GPU pass-through, for example. Implementing two cards and two users uh, working on just only one head unit. For the remote access to this workstation, you can use any client device. For example, telephone, notebook, tablet, Send client. Fujitsu offers the whole uh, lineup of front end devices. For the access of the one to one scenario, uh, Fujitsu offers, for example, the Futro L420 and the uh, L620. This is the scenario together with the Teradigi card. 
And for the multi-user mod uh, model, uh, for example, with the grid card, Fujitsu offers uh, a full true S or a full true A. Now I want to show you the performance of a remote workstation with uh, NVIDIA Grid. Just on my notebook here, uh, I'm accessing the remote workstation uh, based in Netherlands. I have here a demo, uh, a CAD demo, showing you how uh, I turn around this model here on my workstation. And you see the performance is like I'm working on the workstation itself. What we see here is just, just the picture of, of my workstation. Also another example of a CAD demo here, accessing my workstation and doing CAD here. Really good performance or our virtual, fa uh, virtual factory tour of our factory here in Augsburg. Just turn around a little bit with a little bit more speed, running really good. And the performance here is like working on my workstation, but I'm working with, with a notebook. It can be any client, it can be my tablet, it can be a, a, a SIM client. The, the possibilities are infinite because um, I'm really flexible here. What we've seen today is the new Celsius C740 with the two usage scenarios, the one-to-one -one, uh, access and uh, multi-user scenario. And uh, all the benefits uh, with data security combined in just one U. The specific benefits of this product, of this C740 are it's one U only, it's made in Germany and it's really expandable. Users uh, which are interested in the brand new Celsius C740 can look at the Fujitsu website or uh, contact the local partners and resources.